purpose. What Jesus is saying, listen, I'm leaving you with a helper. That is the Holy Spirit. I'm leaving you with something that is going to help you and that is going to be an advantage to your life. What I'm about to leave you with is going to take you through the things that you're going through and it's going to bring you to the purpose that I have for your life. So understand, the things that you may be going through may seem like a burden, but God said it's going to be an advantage. What I give you, that Holy Spirit, is an advantage. It is not a burden in your life. Understand, this responsibility is a blessing. What God is saying is when you remember when you get saved and you accepted me on the inside of you, that helper is going to come and it's going to convict that hell, that sin, that darkness that is in your life. It is going to come in and it is going to be in a battle. It's going to be like, you know what? I want to come live, but that sin has got to go. I want to come live, but that situation has got to go. I want to come live on the inside of you, but that hell has got to go. So it says, I'm going to send that helper and it's going to convict sin. Some of us, maybe nothing bad is going I think y'all missed that. Maybe nothing bad is going on in your life, but God is saying, you know what? It's about time that you do something right, and I'm going to convict that thing until you begin to do it because, you see, now we got that sin out the way, and I'm dwelling on the inside of you, but now I need to grow. I need to convict what's righteous on the inside of you so you do what you got to do. It's not a burden. Listen to me. Listen to me. It is saying this. Look, it's not a burden that I come live on the inside of you, but it's a responsibility because you see, everything that God placed on the inside of Jesus, everything that God gave Jesus, everything that Jesus was able to do came from God. And so when Jesus died, he says, look, I'm about to give it to you. So understand, everything that God told me, when it comes into you, he's going to tell you. Everything that God did from me, on, from me, when I give it to you, you're going to be able to do it too. Welcome me in. And I want you to know that helper hopped on me. I walked down that hallway and I took a left going towards the cafeteria and the greeters greeted me and that helper hopped on me. I remember meeting the usher and the usher greeted me and took me to my seat and just that helper hopped on me. I remember meeting Deacon George and he's shaking my hand like a real Christian man should shake. And he's looking me in my eyes and he's greeting me like a real man should greet a young man. And that helper hopped on me. I remember looking at the praise team and Deacon Travis singing and worshiping God like a man should worship God. And that helper hopped on me. I remember sitting down and hearing Pastor getting up and pushing us to praise and pushing us to lift our hands and then delivering a word and being passionate. That helper hopped on me. I remember seeing him Mr. Ramos running around that church serving God and serving his pastor like a real man should and that helper hopped on me so I want you to know that I came with my sin, I came with my dirt but everybody's helper hopped up on me and by the end of service I had no other choice but to lift my hands, I had no other choice but to praise, I had no other choice but to get I had no other choice but to get delivered from drugs, I had no other choice but to get depression out of my life because that helper hopped on me. It's not a burden, it's a blessing. God is good. Listen to me, Oasis. If the greeter didn't take the responsibility to grow that Holy Spirit, it would not. If the security and the ushers and Deacon George and the praise team, if you do not take your responsibility and grow it, then how in the world can we sit at the front door and allow people to come to this church and expect them to change? See, it's not just one prayer. It's not just about the prayer. It's not just about the praise team. You see, sometimes you just sitting there, your responsibility, when it grows, that helper, when it's big, when that person sits next to you and you got so much anointing on your life, they can't help but lift their hands. They can't help but change their life. I'm trying to tell you that when you feel like it's a burden, understand that it's a responsibility.